viewers welcome to our channel now i am going to discuss a problem of csr net december 2019 question based on numerical analysis for this problem we are given a initial value problem and the corresponding numerical scheme and it is given that for given four options and asked which one is or are true this is a part C question therefore uh, there may be multiple options true for this problem let us solve here the numerical scheme is given by corresponding to the OD y dashed plus y is equal to 0 with the condition y 0 is equal to 1 and the corresponding numerical scheme is given by y n plus 1 minus y n minus 1 divided by 2 h plus y n minus 1 is equal to 0 when n greater or equals to 1 with along with the condition y 0 y 0 is equals 1 and y 1 is equals 1. Let us rewrite this numerical scheme, scheme as y n plus 1 this is is equal to 1 minus 2h y n minus 1. Now if we put n is equal to 1 in this numerical scheme say 1 then we have y2 is equal to 1 minus 2h y0 which is, is equal to 1 minus 2h since y0 is, is equal to 1. If we put n is equal to 2 then we have y is equal to y3 this is equal to 1 minus 2h to y1 which is equal to 1 minus 2h since y0 is also given as 1 and if we put n is equal to 3 then we have y4 is equals 1 minus 2h y3 which is, is equal to 1 minus 2h into 1 minus 2h which is, is equal to 1 minus 2h square. If we proceed this we have we can find yn as 1 minus 2h whole power n minus 2. Now it is given that 0 less than h less than half. If we simplify this we have 0 less than 2h less than 1 which implies minus 1 less than 2h less than 0 which implies 0 less than 1 minus 2h less than 1 thus the quantity 1 minus 2h becomes less than 1 and greater than 0 now we have yn is equal to 1 minus 2h whole power n minus 2. Since this quantity 1 minus 2h is less than 1, thus this tends to 0 as n tends to infinity. Hence, the option 
option one is wrong and option two is correct now from the from some preliminary knowledge of real analysis we know that if a if a sequence is convergent then it is it is bounded thus from real analysis we know that convergent sequence implies boundedness hence the option 3 is also correct now let us check the option 4 from the given initial value problem we can solve it as dy dx plus y is equal to 0 and if we solve this we have y is equal to some say some constant c1 e to the power minus x now if we put the condition y0 is equals 1 then we have <coughs> c1 is equal to 1 hence the solution becomes yx is equal to e to the power minus x sorry the c c1 this is equals 1 and the solutions become yx is equal to e to the power minus x now in fourth option we asked that maximum of modulus y n h minus y n this tends to infinity as t tends to infinity now we we may write modulus of y n h minus y n which is lesser equal to modulus of y n h plus modulus of y n now this is is equal to modulus of e to the power minus n h plus modulus of y n now we see that as n tends to infinity this modulus of e to the power minus n h tends to tends to 0 as n tends to infinity and this modulus of y n this also to this also tends to 0 as n tends to infinity from the option since the option 2 is correct hence this y n h minus y n modulus this tends to 0 as n tends to infinity but in option 4 we are given that modulus of y n h minus y n this tends to infinity as t tends to infinity hence our option 4 is wrong thus the correct options are two and three.